Oh hey, so in my last video I talked about cutting 16 tenons and I just finished cutting the 16 mortises and pretty good fit here. Uh, eight of the mortises are through, so I've got these top gable ties, these are through mortises and the trestle ties down here that hold the leg assembly together, those are through mortises. And I've got housed mortises on the bottom gable tie and four pretty big mortises in the feet. And thankfully, because I measured everything carefully and took my time, it all came together. Uh, maybe a little bit of tune-up before I did blue up, but that's kind of the next step will be to uh, to do some final sand, some tune-up. This is actually quite a puzzle to to put together uh, because of, you know wood wood doesn't give right. So all of these all of these pieces were pre pretty tricky to to assemble. The the joints are pretty tight, so it's not exactly easy to tear down and set up. But I'll have to do that at least once more to do some tune-up. I've got most of my most of my gaps are within a 64th, a um, couple 30 seconds, and I've got these these here, I'm gonna fix those up too, those are the worst ones. But I clamped it all up, put it all together, and it's pretty pretty darn close to, to acceptable. So yeah, learned a lot, wow. The uh, mortise, the hollow chisel mortiser was a lifesaver, this would have taken me a a hundred years to do without that. To hand mortise all of that would have been really, really difficult. I mean, with that, with that hollow chisel mortar sir, it's just a small one, but it was enough to get the job done. Even with that, you stay short of your line and then true it up with a chisel. And I figure each mortise took about an hour and a half. So there was a lot of, some, uh, 20 some 24 hours or so of work just to get these mortises in, which was about twice as long as the tenons took. But yeah, I feel good about this because all the mystery's gone, you know, it comes together. It's been hot out, it's been over 100 degrees every day, so I've got the garage doors open, I'm trying to stay cool. It's Labor Day. I think I'm going to call it good for now. The next step will be. I've got to, again, tune up, and then I'm gonna glue up the leg assembly. And then I'm gonna make uh, these angled mortises on these gable ties and make uh, some wedges that wedge these in. It's meant to, it's meant that you can take the top off, take the, these two leg assemblies will be individual pieces. These gable ties will loose fit with the wedges. So theoretically you could move the table relatively easily uh, if you if you ever want to move. Uh, so yeah, maybe you have to do that someday, but this is a beast. This is pretty heavy, solid wood. Um, I think probably lessons learned is measure carefully. I'll tell you what, I've got, I have this tool. This is a, I think it's ink rough. I think it's an ink rub. I'm not, it's not branded here. But wow, is that thing magnificent for, you know, measuring within a 64th of an inch. And that's how I laid out all the tenons and it really paid off because what I learned on these through mortises at least is just even just a little sliver when you go to put them through if they're, if they're not, if they don't come through. I mean, just the slightest of shaving will free it up like so you really have to take your time and not get too aggressive and try to figure out where it's hanging up some of these are pretty good some are I'm not so proud of but they're all gonna they're all gonna tighten up I think once the glue goes in here like there's a little bit of a gap there I'm pretty sure it'll tighten up and you also have to be careful on your through tenons not to blow out it with a really tight fit if it's coming at a slight angle you can blow out the, the edge a couple little tiny blowouts, but nothing major. 
I'm actually kind of happy with it. But yeah, they make a, a short one of these. I'm gonna order it because this thing may be one of my favorite tools. And so far I've gotten by with the relatively cheap chisels. Um, I did, I sharpened them once. I got sharpening stones and the sharpening really, really helped, but hey, cheap chisel. Cheap chisel set, this was like $30, $40, and this came in a set of $60, and this is the only one I've used out of that set. So I guess that's all for now. I'm gonna take a couple weeks off from this, I think. Once this leg assembly and got, and, and the, all the curves and the, and the wedges are done here, then I move on to the top. And the top is a whole nother adventure, but just having this bottom done is great. I think probably I'm about 20 hours or so of, of working on tuning this up and getting it glued up and getting those wedges in. And then I should be at that point, I figure about half done. Yeah, comfortably half, because I've already got the, the tabletops and side rails and all the other boards milled up. So definitely getting close to half done, which is kind of cool. I'm in no rush. This is about about learning how to do woodworking, so it's kind of cool. I could have used the workbench all throughout this. I'm just sitting on sawhorses on a little stool. So it'll be exciting to actually have a, a really cool workbench with side vices and ways to clamp that I can work from and sort of invent new projects. It's kind of looking forward to, but I'm gonna take my time, try to enjoy the build process. There is no rush. If it takes me two or three more months, that's fine. But I'm just going to keep plugging along, especially now that I'm encouraged. This is this is quite a feat to get this far. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so let's just fast forward. Here's all the four mortises cut for the feet and the legs inserted. So the feet are done now. So this is going to be a fast forward, just a couple minutes to show an hour's worth of cutting uh, through mortise for the upper gable ties. It's a half inch blade, takes a couple three passes from each side, stay inside the lines, trim up with chisels at the end and just be patient like I said uh, it, I average about an hour and a half per mortise so there's no no way to rush it if you rush it you make mistakes and you're not gonna have good lines so as long as you're careful and watch your lines I think you can get some great mortises if you try to rush you're just gonna end up with 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 a mess so just watch the fast forward through here and at the end I'll, I'll show an example of a, a through mortise antenna
All right, so here's a look at the through tenon. Took about an hour and a half of messing around. Go very slowly, cut very carefully, and just use very, very little cuts, and you'll eventually get there. Nice clean cut. Nice clean mortise. So I captured some footage of making the upper gable tie through tenon. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. This is the trestle tie through tenon. That long board sitting in the front in the foreground it goes through both leg assemblies. And so these uh, I took my time with. There's actually an hour and thirty minutes, which this uh, fast forward cuts it down to just four minutes here, but. If you consider in terms of time, they take a long time, and I don't see there's a way to rush it. Uh, the finest of, of adjustments make or break these joints, I notice. So just a very thin shaving makes all the difference in the world. So you get the hole close. What I actually do is uh, on the through side is I line the mortise up and make it and true up the the through side to the size of the tenon, like almost to the exact proportions. And then when you go to the inside, you can be a little more aggressive um, in terms of like making making extra space, but the goal is that when that tenon comes through the outside, that it's really, really clean on all four edges. And it's easier said than done. I've had some pretty good luck with it, but you can see as I just probably hundreds of different steps involved and many dozens of tri trial fits. Like I said, there's no rush in it. Otherwise, you're just not going to get a good result. So you have to be patient. You have to budget enough time for this because I think if you if you found yourself like in a hurry um, and you felt rushed, then I don't think you'd get a very good good result. It's really tedious. The minutest of adjustments and Try again and adjust again. And I think the trick is don't don't be too aggressive. And, and even if you're worried about the looks, even the finest um, of adjustments matter. And you see, I, I actually brought out the wood file. So even, even when you get right to the end, just a, a, a rasp or a wood file is all, all that you need. The board won't go through couple of file file strokes later and it fits just right so you have to be very cautious and respectful of 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 like you sit there for an hour and the sports binding up and then you just kind of get that last that last little bit and then just that's a seven and three quarters inch tenon and just flops right through and it's a really clean shoulder fit and everything and that's very satisfying so we'll see that here as I mess around, keep messing around with the adjustments. These were, there was four of them, and I mean, it took me over six hours to get the four, but um, I, I learned a lot. Once I get these leg assemblies done and all the fine tuning done, then I can go to, to glue up at least on the leg assembly and really um, start to see the progress on the overall workbench. So this is part 11. I'm I think I'm, uh, well, I'll, I'm keeping track of all my hours, but at the end, it's going to be interesting to, to put a summary of how many hundreds of hours that will go into this, and it will be measured in hundreds, hopefully low hundreds, but there it goes. Got the nice adjustment, and then I noticed my shoulder was a bit off, so I just had to adjust the shoulder a bit with, the, got a shoulder plane and a block plane and a chisel and cleaned up the shoulder and slipped it back in and had a really good fit. I think that was the first one, so four more, to, three more to go. And so this concludes part 11, and this is where I'm at. Pretty good. 45, 40, 45% done, I think. Thanks for watching. Bye.